Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts where we're delving deeper into the Pumbok guide. And this one in particular is schedule compression. For example, what happens if we want to compress our schedule? Maybe it's quite long, taking a long time, and we want to make it shorter. That's where schedule compression techniques come into play. So schedule compression is a technique that's used, used to shorten or accelerate the schedule duration without reducing the project scope. So we still wanna deliver what we are delivering that business value as part of our project. Uh, so we might have certain schedule constraints, imposed dates that we need to meet or other schedule objectives. So we need to compress that schedule. There are two main compression techniques that you'll see on the PMP exam in the project management body of knowledge and even in your project management career. Those two are crashing which shortens the schedule duration by adding resources. Uh, so that can be very costly or you know, we're adding more people, uh, of course, as well. Now, the other one we're looking at is fast tracking, where activities or phases normally done uh, in sequence are now performed in parallel or at the same time for at least a portion of their duration. And that way we're able to cut back on the time frame there. So let's look at a few examples here. Crashing. Uh, might, might uh, involve approving overtime, adding those resources, paying to expedite the delivery uh, of activities on the critical path. So of course, because of that, crashing may result in increased risk and certainly in increased cost. Uh, as an example up the top here, we've got task one, task two, task three as our normal schedule with just one person assigned to each. But if we're crashing this project schedule, we're adding resources to it. So now all of a sudden we've got a lot more resources there and we're able to shorten that project, uh, that, that task, the time of that task. Now there, of course, you have to be aware of the law of diminishing returns, where sometimes adding more and more and more and more people, uh, your return on that, in, on that investment in people will get less and less and less and less over time. Sometimes adding more people isn't the answer. But in this case, when we're crashing a project, we're looking at for that to be the answer to reduce our project schedule. Now the other one is fast tracking, where we're performing tasks in parallel. So again, this might re result in rework and in increased risk and cost as well. And it only works when activities can be overlapped. To, to, be, to happen at the same time, to shorten the project duration on the critical path. So we're using the lead time. If there's, any, uh, if there's any lead time that we can take up, we're using that to perform those tasks in parallel. For example, one, two, three in sequence, but now one, two, three, uh, we're performing some of these activities at the same time by fast tracking our project. And because we're able to do that, we don't have to add more resources in this case. So the cost is a little bit less than if we were to crash the project with project resources. And that is the idea of schedule compression, crashing your schedule, and fast tracking your schedule.